Hello and welcome back to Battle Cruiser Millennium Gold Edition. I had to do a little bit of backtracking to get the, all the necessary footage, so let me just get some of the stuff out of the way real quick. As I mentioned, turn off the launch and transport the control when you start the game so that you wouldn't get uh, enemies boarding on your ship unnoticed. We sometimes do that with cloaked ships. You wouldn't want that to happen. And of course take out the mines to get that dosh. Go to Tradecom. Sell them. Look at all the money they, they give you for all these fucking mines. And then stock up on as much fuel as you can. This time it seems the fuel are the fuel is significantly less accessible in the shop. I'll need to get to a n different station just to get more sh uh, shit. Oh yeah, if you press info, you get a little bit of information about this station. Let's log out and let us begin. There we go. This is the game. We will have to rely on uh, mostly of our genius since this game is completely self unexplanatory. Alright, first things first, we need to figure out how to move. Luckily, I already know, so this will save you some time. To start moving, you first need to know some basics. You can move around with the arrow keys, but as you can see, left and right will only roll you a bit, and up and down will change the pitch. Or is it the yaw? I don't remember. Now, how do we turn this thing then? Well, you turn to the left with the insert button. I know, the choices of these controls are really dumb. And of course, delete goes to the right. I, I really don't fucking know why the choices are like this. If you press alt, you can move uh, with a mouse. This is especially useful if you want to shoot manually, but I would not suggest using it most of the time. It's a pretty shitty idea. You can change the speed, or in our case, thrust profile with the number keys. Not the numpad keys, the normal number keys. From 1 to 9 you can increase the speed, 1 is the slowest and 9 is the fastest. 9 is top speed. Right then. Now that you get out of the, out of the way we can actually start moving. By the way, if you want to accelerate faster hold the tilde button. It will activate the afterburners, which will allow you to reach maximum velocity that much faster. Keep in mind one important thing. You're very slow. This is one of the slowest spaceships you'll ever have. In fact, all of the spaceships are very slow. However, they come armed with a very special tool. The hyperdrive engine. Use it. Don't be an idiot. Alright, how do we move around? First you select this little thing. It's the button to select your control craft, the command craft. You can see some uh, interesting stuff like who's, like how, how is this thing being controlled currently directly. Where are we? How fast are we going? What orders we have and everything else. Let's go to the systems. We have a, a very nice systems menu to choose systems from. Let's go to the TAC Ops. The TAC Ops computer will be the number one thing that you'll be using throughout your playthrough. This is very important to get to the, the more detailed view of things that are going on around here. We can see the entire solar system from here. From the Navitron we can see a much broader view so we don't usually use that to, to do 
any kind of journey planning. Currently we are over there, we would like to go to the moon actually. What is this? Ah, the Genesis station. This is the moon. Looks a little shitty, doesn't it? But you gotta keep in mind that this game has been released a long time ago. The best way to travel to something is to add the object of your interest to the priority list. Once you do that, press menu, press bridge, then go to the systems and... No wait, it's not systems. Go here, command craft orders, fly to priority list. Since I selected the moon, that's exactly where we'll be going. Once you choose your destination, You'll be able, your autopilot will do all the things for you. The hyperdrive, as you can see, will increase our speed immeasurably. Look at that speed. This is what I call light speed. With the F keys, we can change the camera views. Look at that. That's Earth. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? We'll make a comeback soon. First, I want to stock up on fuel. Uh oh, what's going on? Uh oh. What's this? Vandals. Yeah, looks like it's an escort ship with something else, but... You don't have to worry about enemies at the starting locations. Despite what you might think, Calcom HQ has incredibly powerful weapons on board. There's no way in hell you're going to end up blown up by any enemies. They'll get blown up before we even get to see you. Which is what may, which it, this is what makes the game interesting. This is a simulation like no other. There is no real quest here. Nobody gives a shit who you are. You are not the hero. You're just a regular commander in the in the current situation. You're just a regular commander of a spaceship. Nobody cares who you are. Oh shit, that's a little too close. That's way too close to the moon. But yeah, nobody gives a shit in this game who you are. Nobody cares if you're some kind of a superhero or not, or whatever. Nah, no, no such thing here. What is happening? Is that the universe is alive. Everything happens on its own. Or so I'm told. Apparently the universe is just a living thing of its own. It does everything by itself. You or your interaction is completely unnecessary in this situation. You can just do whatever you want. Nobody will ever mind your business. Like nobody will ever give a shit what you're doing. Let's zoom in. Let's check out the Genesis station. Where is this fucking place? Here it is. This is the Genesis station. Let's add it to the priorities. For the most part, we'll require the use of hyperdrive in our journeys since it makes everything considerably faster. Now you might say, well, the Genesis station is so close, it's only like 2000 kilometers away. Surely we can move that fast in space, right? No, I'm afraid we can't. The spaceship is really slow. So whenever we get to the chance to utilize the hyperdrive, we really should do that. This time around, as you can see, the hyperdrive is slowly accelerating. That's because our target is pretty close by. This thing does not need to go very fast. Now look, it's already decreasing 
speed. That's because we're getting very close to our destination. In fact, we're already here. There's a lot of flashy buttons and other things, but we'll get to that later. First, let's stock up on fuel. I really need that fuel. Whenever you start the game, always stock up on fuel, which is Radin. Get as much as you can from any of these two stations, Galcom HQ and Genesis, provided you start on Earth. Because... God forbid you actually run out of fuel. You have no fucking clue what kind of a troublesome situation you get yourself into. Whenever you get close to a station, press Alt D to start the docking sequence. It's automatic, you do not have to worry about it. However, if you like doing things manually, just fly close enough to the station and I think press D. The controls are really fucked, but this game assumes that you'll be playing with a joystick. I don't have a joystick, so I don't play with a joystick. Screw that. I'm not gonna buy a joystick just to play a fucking space simulator every now and then. Alright, we should be docking soon. Why is the alarm blaring? We don't even have enemies on the on radar. Um, are we docking? It seems like we flew past the fucking thing. We just flew past the station. Hey. Asshole. You flew past the damn station. Get a little closer, perhaps. Engaging thrust profile. Disengaging thrust profile. Okay. Thrust profile. I think I got it right now. You might notice some kind of lines popping up in the middle of the screen. I'm afraid I can't do much about it. It's some kind of a graphical bug. If there's some suggestions to turn off some kind of settings to get rid of those glitch ups. I didn't actually bother because I think they don't do a whole lot of damage to me. Like I, I can easily live without it. I keep hearing these explosions but most of the time I don't even see enemies on the radar. Ah here we go. I think the reds are enemies, and the whites are actually rockets. So if you ever see a white dot on your minimap and it's coming straight for you... You should be scared. <laughs> you should be scared. Hurry up already, I wanna dock. Here we go. Alright, so you have to press Alt D when you're close to the station. Let's see what you got on the Tradecom. I don't need anything from the repair minerals, Red Dean. Oh, come on. What's up with this playthrough this time around? We have so little fuel. Very weird. Let's see what else we got. Kind of personnel. Nothing interesting. Weapons. No. Oh. Well, they do have some miscellaneous items. Oh, shit, man. Look at those craft parts. The price on most is fetching. Ridiculous. Much like medicines. Ridiculous as shit. Alright, looks like we're not gonna get much luck out of them. 
we'll have to consider doing something else.